Okay, so welcome back to more Glee Reactions. We're on Season 1, Episode 6 today. Um, last episode was... Not much happened. It was pretty much just about getting Rachel back into Glee Club. That was that was pretty much it. Um, the musicals were probably... I'd say the the songs that were performed were probably the best we I've seen yet um, out of all the episodes. Pretty most enjoyable. I don't think there's one where it's like... Where I cringed at it or I was like, that's horrible. I think they were all decent. I think that was down to who they brought in, though. Um, I think it was April, April something. I can't remember her last name. Uh, but she's a big Broadway star, which I won't catch. So I'm just going to say it now. If any Broadway stars come into it, um, you lot are going to have to let me know because I ain't going to have a fucking clue. So in terms of what's going on with the stories in the show at the minute, you've got the stuff with Quinn's baby, which I don't know where that's going. I honestly don't. That's probably one of the only things I can't predict. I think the the stuff with Will and like, the whole baby situation... Um, with his wife, that's got to conclude soon. I mean, it's six episodes in. I didn't, I didn't even think they'll be able to drag it out for six episodes. So I have no clue when that's going to conclude. But uh, it, it will end up, like I said, I think it will end up with him leaving her and going to the other teacher that likes him. When that will happen, I have no idea. Uh, if they manage to drag that out any longer, I'll be really, I'll be really surprised because, um, like I said, we're six episodes in. I reckon it'll be similar for Finn as well when he finds out that, or if he finds out that Quinn's baby is not his, he'll probably leave her and go with uh, Rachel. I think that's probably what's going to happen. But yeah, other than that, not much really going on. Um, I've been told that this, this show does take a few episodes to pick up, uh, a good few episodes to pick up, so I'm not expecting anything. I'm not expecting myself to be right into it, um, even by episode 6, because of what people said. So so as always, before I start these videos, I'm a few episodes ahead of this episode on my Patreon. It's the full one-cut episode, so it's my reaction to the entire episode. If you are interested in that, the link will be down below in the description. But as for now, I hope you enjoy the video. Oh yeah, last episode I ended. Rachel found out that Quinn's pregnant with what she thinks uh, is Finn's baby. The kids have gotten really complacent. It's like the fire is totally got a little uh, um, mustard on your um, chin, mate. Sorry, you've just uh, you've got a little mustard in your. Don't do the cringy where she goes and wipes. Oh, please don't. Huh? Don't do it, please. <laughs> I do a chore and then I get a star and oh, then dear God, please, please stop talking. Oh, of course she's there to I'm just say to some to random shit. To ignore it's like mother's milk to them. Without it, their bones won't grow properly. So if you want results with a kid, she comes up with the weirdest shit, doesn't she? That blouse is just insane. I I'd said this before, but I wonder if there'll be an episode where she doesn't wear Adidas and Adidas tracksuit, like genuinely. Even better. I don't understand how lightning is in competition with an above ground swimming pool. Yeah. Just go with it. Or Bill you Clinton for that matter. You a mashup is when you take two songs and mash them together. To oh no, this could be really bad. Musical expression. There is going to be a celebrity judge. Oh, who? Oh, you're gonna have to show up to find out. Not gonna be serious yet. I will have to destroy the man. How do you plan on doing that then? Let me be oh no! You're gonna stir the pot. Oh shit! Basket that does. I think you should both pack up and move out of the district. Unless you want to lose your man to a bit extreme in it. Our school nurse, Mrs. Lancaster's in a coma. Oh, she took a terrible tumble down the stairwell yesterday. Did you put? Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, this show. What was that? Why? Get creative. You're gonna take her job. Schuster. You. Hey. You are the most honest and impartial person I know. The wife's there. I'm the new school nurse. But the kids are gonna die then. You're gonna be great. And this means that I'm gonna be around all the time now. Oh, I had enough of her when she no showed up in a few scenes. Route. Being a guy my age is tough. Between Glee and football and school and being popular, I think I know where you're going wrong, mate. You, you've got an Xbox, not a PlayStation. Me and I don't... Last night I got vaporized on level two, level two, and I didn't even have the energy to care. Oh, bro, that's how you know, it's real. We're doing a mashup of It's My Life and Usher's Confessions. We should get some trash can leads. Are you serious? In this piece, Look, with respect, you're more helpful when you don't contribute. Please don't do that mashup. Thanks, guys. With him, Bon Jovi and Keep what? And Usher, did they say? I hear that, correct. You think those six dudes are gonna give us any competition? I say we just wing it. We can't just wing it. I mean, oh, half of their song's Bon Jovi, so I think they've already won. Girls. Girls? But you're dating Quinn Fabray. Yeah, but... 
Much like your husband, he's got another girl in his mind. Two girls at once. No. Are they safe? They're over the counter. They stop them next to the candy bars. Sweetie, I'm the I don't think they do, though, do they? And I got you guys some. Oh God. Actually gone for the Bon Jovi look as well. Bon Artie. Oh, he doesn't get the credit, man. He doesn't. Oh, he's got all the energy in the world now. Oh my God, the mashup. Jesus Christ. That's quite a smooth transition to be fair, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, it's almost like that, isn't it? I think my girlfriend is in love with your husband, and I wouldn't be surprised if the feeling was mutual. What makes you think that, Kim? I'm gonna get down on one knee, and you're gonna ask that doe-eyed little harlot to marry you. No. Wow. I can't do that. What if she's gonna say yes as well? It might kill me. Nothing can stop you. Oh God, the whole school's gonna be fucking. I told you guys. We know. Off the end. We all took something. Oh, I didn't give it to them now. You can trust me. I'm a nurse. Hmm. Good for you. Yeah, you're a nurse. I'm surprised she ain't got the entire school killed yet. So she went mad at Finn for cheating. She's Finn? gone to the same thing. Now, doesn't he have a... now we have nothing to say to each other. A lot of ants on the sidewalk today. <laughs> oh my god. Will you marry me? She gonna say yes. Thank you so much. It really is God's a sake. She said yes, didn't she? Alright, let's and see what they've got. Mmm, I don't know, nah, the, it wasn't as smooth. That, I don't know, the mashup wasn't as, wasn't as, uh, smooth as the other one. Nah, uh, that wasn't bad, but the other one was better. It, 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 the mashup wasn't, it just didn't transition well, I think. I think it was just a choice of songs, but not. Can you walk with me? She ran the ring. The pub's not showing our hands. The true love can I ask you to marry me. Yeah, yeah, it is. And? What are you gonna do? Can you think of any other options I might have? Yes. Don't marry someone you don't want to marry. You don't even like him. What? It's got a bit too far now, isn't it? I think there's some kind of competition going on between you and I. But that's like saying that a nail is competing with a hammer. <laughs> yeah, you being the nail, her being the hammer. And he deserves a lot better than you, Emma. Tr she's speaking facts. Will, can you just please leave her? Can you just find out that she's not pregnant, please? Jesus. I need to talk to you about the baby. If they actually go through with this shit where she gets her baby and, like, no. this lie continues, I swear to God. I can't raise the baby. Oh, are you kidding me? Are you actually kidding me? Surrounded by Hurry. things that aren't clean. Don't agree to marry him. Hi. I think it would be best if we didn't see each other after school. Sure. So we why get married? Ceremony, you know, like what? what? It'd be more like a secret, you know, like a secret marriage. That's actually a better deal than I expected. Then what's the point? It's not cheating if everyone's doing it. We were just leveling out the playing field. Yeah, that's how it works. Howard got picked up by the feds on suspicion of running a crystal meth lab. I never told Howard to get them all Fucking out. Fucking Walter White. You find a way to make sure it burns the forest down. Simple solution for that, Will. I have... I'm bringing in someone else to co-chair the Glee Club. Oh, shit. Someone with a track record of responsibility and excellence. Oh, well done, Terry. We've been assigned a co-director. Who? Hey kids. Oh my <laughs> god. I, gotta tell I said yes. That's great. Nothing's going right for Will. This is so awkward. You both like each other and you know it, so. Why are you trying to lie? Did she take him? Again. Listen, if this goes all the way to the point where 
Terry manages to get Quinn's baby. I don't know what the fuck to do. It's... I, I can see it happening. You know? A part of me is thinking if they would have just had this over with, it would have been done by now. Like episode six. Um, if I, But then again, I can't see the whole show. No, I, don't, I, can't, I can't see any show doing that. Even though Glee is like, not serious in the slightest, I still can't see them doing that where they have like a whole lie. Basically a lie going throughout the whole series um, until the end. I can't see that happening. So I, I don't think that's going to happen. But Jesus Christ, when's this gonna? When's this gonna end? She's still the most annoying character. Um, other characters are are confusing. I think Ken's so confusing. Like when we first saw him in episode one, he was so weird, so creepy. He was like grabbing his crotch and like just saying the weirdest shit and stuff like that. And then like they 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 haven't shown that since. So it's like, what was the point of even introducing that to begin with? What was the point of giving off the vibe that he was creepy and like a weirdo from the start if they just that and and like that was the last we saw of it. It just seems to be that first episode he seemed to be creepy. It seemed like two different characters. Um I don't know, it's like they had an idea and then he just scrapped it by the second episode. I have no idea. Musicals in this episode were decent. I think the um the guys ones were better than the girls though just because I think the choice of song the choice of songs I thought the mashup was a lot smoother on the first one than it was the second. If they just chose something else other than Walking on Sunshine, I think it would have been alright. Um, but the mash, you could you could tell it switched. Whereas with the It's My Life and the other one, um, it was so smooth. You couldn't tell the transition. The musicals in the show are getting better though. I'm not going to lie. Like when the first episode, first couple of episodes, I was like, this is awful. What is this? Like, What the hell is going on? But the Queen one, like the, the musicals last episode, the Queen one in particular... Um, and, the, and, the, and the ones in this episode were, were pretty decent, to be fair. They end the episode off with Rachel taking more of those drugs. Um, so she's just <laughs> lying to everyone. I, I, don't know, I'm, I don't know where they're going to go with that. I'm going to have to wait and see. But yeah, that was my reaction to Glee Season 1, Episode 6. I hope you enjoyed this video. And as always, cheers for watching.